Hello everyone, this is Hodge here with uh, Chris W2K5. Hi! And uh, <laughs> we have a, a an exclusive here. We are we have some exclusive DLC for SimCity, SimCity and the never-ending launcher. Um, we are stuck Basically, here. <laughs> when you pay for SimCity, little do you know, and here's the surprise, <laughs> all you get is the launcher! Yeah, <laughs> yeah right? It's I, uh, a 4 gigabyte launcher. <laughs> Sixty dollars. I tweeted. I actually, me and Chris have been on on Skype for a while now, trying to get into this game, and we've had varying degrees of success and failures. Um, but here we are again at the at the launcher. But uh, earlier today, I I've been like trolling uh, EA, not EA, but uh, Origin and uh, and uh, the, the actual SimCity Twitter account today because I've been so frustrated. It started last night. I mean, let's go back uh, until last night and. At 12.01 Eastern Time, which I am, um, SimCity, their Twitter account, their official Twitter, said, Hey, the game is ready for all you North American players. So I went to download it, and uh, I had pre-ordered it because I wanted all the special things that came with pre-ordering. And uh, to my surprise, even though from the company there was an official tweet that said the game is out now, uh, it wasn't. Uh, in my Origin account, it was grayed out. Did you have that issue, or did you buy it after pre-order? No, I pre-ordered it. Okay, so did you have the same problem? Yeah, okay. even though I only pre-ordered it about <laughs> 10 minutes before well, it came out. Right, right, but still, that was still. <laughs> so, so those of us that pre-ordered it, it took a while for Origin to actually send out the freaking codes. Uh, I did end up getting mine about 1 o'clock in the morning my time, so about an hour after launch, but... To my understanding, people that were buying the game, as soon as EA said, hey, the game's live, were able to get it immediately. And then those of us that pre-ordered it waited. Then, today, I played a little bit and had a lot of fun and seemed to be pretty good. Now, it's 4 o'clock my time, so I know understand that there are kids who get off of school and now they're trying to play the game too. But the servers obviously can't handle it. And it's frustrating because EA was like, hey, our servers are going to be able to handle it. It's going to be good. But anyway, so I tweeted them today and said, hey, I'm really enjoying this $60 launcher that I bought from you guys. Um, because that's what it is at this point. Um, I mean, you see it here. What typically happens, and I'm hoping it's going to happen while I'm recording this, but what typically happens is down here where it says checking for updates, uh, it does that, and it should go pretty quickly. You see it says 100%, so that's not actually happening right now. Uh, but eventually that'll turn green, it'll tell me I'm authenticating to the server, the server will pop up under the word server there that's actually empty, and actually I can click on the select server button, absolutely nothing happens. Uh, and so basically at this point I wait here at this launcher until uh, their servers stop being dicks and decide to let me authenticate to them. And you'd think that would be the end of the problems that we've had, but it has not. <laughs> uh, not at all. <laughs> we were, we actually got past this point probably two or three times now. Um, we get in, and if you don't know about this game, which actually I, I sound like I'm really hating on the game, the the bit that I've played of it was fantastic. Like, to be totally like open, it was it was fantastic. That's why I'm so frustrated that I can't play right now. And I, and none of this stuff is gonna get fixed. And I like to, Diablo three had a bad launch like this. Uh, I don't know I know that it got fixed in a couple of days, so I'm I'm, I'm confident that that'll happen here too. Um, but it's frustrating now. So anyway, we get past this point. We um, we go to start a game because the game is an online on only thing, and uh, that sounds weird because the game's typically been a single player experience. But now it's not. It's open. It's multiplayer. And one of the cool features of that, I really think so. And Chris and I both were trying to get this done was to make a region uh, where all of our friends could play on. So basically, be neighbors, if that makes sense. Uh, Won't you be my neighbor? Right. So, so the first time we get past this launcher, we go in, start to create the uh, the region. I started to do that because I got in before Chris did, and get the region created. Hit the create region button, and get a nice little message from EA telling me I can't reach the servers anymore, and to go back to the main menu, which I did. But at that point, my resume button which I wish I could show you right now, but there's normally, if you've been playing a game, it'll say resume. And that's a good sign you're connected to the network. Was gone. So I just had play game and... SimWorld. And, yeah, uh, that. SimWorld. <laughs> um, so, obviously, lost connection. So I backed out 
to come back in. Sat at this launcher for a good another probably 20 to 30 minutes, I feel like. It was probably not, it might not have been that long, but it was a while. Got through, got in, created the region, got in the region, claimed my city. Uh, Chris was in, and he was ready to go. He was online. I went to go invite him to the region, and lo and behold, uh, Origin tells me that he's not online. Except, like, the best part of this story is, like, he's not online in the part that matters, like, where I need to go in the game and actually tell it to invite him. However, I can shift F1, which is how do you get into the, like, friends menu, the, the Origin menu, and I Going see... I see him, and I see he's in the game, and I see that he's online, but that doesn't matter because I can't invite him from that screen. Yeah, it's awesome. So I went in then to try to go ahead and play my play on my town and just wait for Chris to be able to get in and invite him. Uh, when I realized that it had taken back my claim that I made on my plot of land and now was not letting me make a claim on any plot of land... Then I got the wonderful message telling me I'd been disconnected from the servers. So, now we're back here. <laughs> and that, that has pretty much been our adventure in SimCity today. And that's the story of SimCity. Right, that's I, your $60 experience right there. I, I wanted to give you guys a video of SimCity and, with me and Chris and have multiplayer and it'd be awesome and fun. Um, but at this point, I don't know how long we've been in this Skype call. Probably over an hour. An hour and nine minutes. An hour and nine minutes. And uh, this is finally where we've landed. Now I say all that to say that we are going to make videos of this. Uh, oh yeah, are, it'll be are, done. We are going to have multiplayer, and it's going to be a great time. And it is actually a really fun game from what I've played of it. Um, but at this point, I'm a little frustrated, and I think rightfully so. Um, Not to defend it at all in any way, shape, or form, but the way it was act it's acting right now, Kind of seems like a DDoS attack because the servers last night were working perfectly fine. Hmm. Yeah, maybe so. Um, I mean, I know there's gonna, I know there's tons of people on it. I mean, that's that's for sure. But I feel like, I, I, you know, I want to say that and say like, oh, but there's a lot of people trying to get on. Like I said earlier, you know, it's right about the time that the East Coast is getting home, and that's a bunch of Chirins that want to play this game. Um, but I, I want to use that as a defense and be like, oh, you know, it's it, I'm sure their servers are stressed. But when the game info started coming out, the gaming community pretty much was up in arms about the always-on thing that SimCity had going. And uh, this is why. Because they're like, what if your servers can't handle it? What if they get bogged down? Then we're not even going to be able to play the single-player part of the game. Uh, we're not even going to be able to do that because you will have, you know, crippled it, basically. And uh, two things are wrong with that. Number one, there really is no single-player part of the game. Um, you can make a region and be the only person on it. You can set it to private and never invite anybody to it. But that's as single-player as it gets. It's yep. definitely built to be multiplayer. Um, well, and it, with that, like, I've played quite a lot of gameplay on it already, haven't yeah. recorded much, but I've played a lot of gameplay. Mm -hmm. And the way th you have to do things, it's not like the old Sim Cities where you can have one self-contained city. Yeah, the city plots in this game aren't that big, so because of that, you need multiple cities to do different things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which is cool. I mean, I, I dig, I dig that, and I understand. And I, I've I've read some stuff from them explaining it and like how. You know, cities aren't these autonomous things that are self-sufficient. You know, they need to interact with other cities. They need to, you know, trade with other cities. And that's cool. I love that. Um, so I, I'm down with the, like, they're not really being a single player. The only thing I'm not down with, the only thing I'm frustrated uh, with is that EA was so certain. They're like, no, we're going to be fine. Our servers are going to be good. It's not going to be a big deal. And here we are on launch day, and it's totally a big deal. Uh, and I just feel like, I mean, I know they can't always estimate what kind of load is going to be on their server. Um, but I feel like we had, we had hints of this. I mean, you know, Diablo 3 launches, and it has one of the worst launches ever. A lot of the same problems as right here. And uh, I feel like, did EA not see that happen to someone else and go, hey, when we do our big multiplayer game, let's not do that. 
let's let's well, have that not happen. It doesn't matter how much server, how many server racks you have for a uh, multiplayer only game. Basically, there's going to be the ability for someone with a vendetta out there towards life that's going to have a DDoS right. on your server. So is that what you think's going on? You think they're getting? I don't know. It, getting it, DDoSed? I don't like I said I don't want to defend the game, but at the same time it kind of seems like that. I had absolutely no problems last night. Yeah. So like in order like in the time it would take to kind of find the server IP, blah blah blah, and do all that stuff, mm-hmm. it almost seems like that's how it's acting. Because I mean the servers go up for a few seconds at a time, and, and then they go back, back down, down, right? Yeah. Yeah, that is what's happening. That it could be a very good point. Um, you know, I I had this little rant. Because mostly I needed to fill time while we sat here and watched this loading screen. <laughs> and as you can see, I've been recording this for a while, and we're still stuck at the same place. About 11 minutes Yep. Ish. So, um, you know, the game's not bad. I really wish I could show you some footage of the game right now that I was playing, because I was having a ton of fun. Um, the graphics are great. It handles great on my computer. It runs smoothly. Um, the game looks good. It's fun. Um... And I'm really excited about the multiplayer side of things. I'm really, really excited about that. Um, yeah. So we will be showing you that sometime. But I wanted you to know, like, what's going on and really just kind of vent my thoughts. Um, that's really the purpose of this. It's just to vent so I don't want to punch things in the face. Um, <laughs> but anyway, so SimCity. Right now, the best $60 launcher I've ever paid for. Um <laughs> But, but actually, a really, a really fun game, and I'm excited to show you some videos of it. Um, so, if you're play, trying to play this game and you're having the same issues, just let us know down in the comments. Uh, we can all, um, we can all be our own support group. Uh, we're all upset about it. Uh, anyway, guys, I will see you soon with actual gameplay of SimCity sometime in the future. Um, once everything gets settled and and this stuff isn't happening. So, guys, I will see you later. Uh, Probably with Chris, probably with some other folks. Who knows? It's going to be good times. See you guys around. See ya. Bye. Bye.